Americans. I want to take a moment to address some of the hateful shit you've been talking about me. Many of you have said I am suffering from brain worms <laughs> or that I have applesauce for brains. <laughs> I won't miss words. Welcome back to the He's Wrong, She's Right podcast. The podcast that's late to talk about Biden dropping out of the presidential race in a uh, historic fashion. Late to talk about everything, you mean? No. We're first to talk about a lot of things, just not this, because you didn't even know about it. <laughs> didn't even know about it. Uh, the, uh, the headlines for the top stories on Google are pretty funny. Well, didn't I predict this? Everybody predicted it. Like a month ago? Yeah, everybody. Yeah. There's people saying that they predicted it. Ron DeSantis says he predicted it in 2022. Oh. Vivek Rama Salami, whatever. Salami? It, I don't know. How to, I think it's Are Ra- you hungry? Rama, Rama Swami, something like that. Okay. I think you're hungry. Um, no. He uh, was vying for Trump's vice presidency, but he didn't get it. That J.D. Vance guy from Ohio got it. Um, Vance Refrigeration. Yeah. He was the other person claiming to have called it in like November or October of last year. Okay. So everybody's everybody's arguing over who said it first. Okay. <laughs> um, so Bi- basically nobody is shocked. Yeah. Everybody expected it. But they're I'm saying like they're all like infighting and bickering. I said it first publicly. Okay. I, I, I'm, I won. I was first. That's literally how the headlines look, you jackasses. Okay. Um, Biden makes stunning decision to pull out a 2024 race. Mm-hmm. Biden drops out of 2024 race after disastrous debate inflamed age concerns. It's so, because Jill stopped saying he was such a good boy. So, so here's the here's the funny part, right? When he was still in, I believe he's four years older than Trump, maybe five. Okay. Mm-hmm. That sounds about right. The left was like. Age doesn't matter. He's running the country great. Mm-hmm. And now that he's dropped out, Trump is too old to run for pre- like, like the fucking double clockwork. standards. Yep, of course. Every time, like clockwork. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know why investors would care. Here's what investors are saying about Biden dropping out. Inside Biden's historic decision to drop out, they're trying so hard, so hard to make this. More than what it is. The dude's just old. So he publicly endorsed his VP. In a, essentially an anonymous letter. To the best of my knowledge, he and hasn't actually. And the Twitter account has already been transferred over to her. The Biden HQ, right. mm-hmm. not right, right, right. the presidential. Yeah. Right, right. So it's already starting her campaign. Yeah. Even though the Democrats have not. And it's all the little twats like Harry Sissy that are running the account. Harry Sissy? Yeah. Who, who or what is that? Is that a person? Yeah. Like Sissy is actually yeah. their name? Yeah. Watch, let me show you. Or are you just saying that just to say that? No, it's his real name. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. See? Harry Sissy. What? His last name is Sasan. No, it's Sissy. Okay. <laughs> he... He made a post and I thought I had saved it. He was like, I'm so heartbroken. I can't believe, I can't believe the president would drop out. Um, all the, all my, all the other kids my age are fully supporting Vice President Kamala Harris now. How old is he? Kids his age. He made a post 23 hours ago that he's 21. He's, so he's actually, uh, he's paid by the political PACs that support the Democratic Party. Like, he's literally paid a paid propagandist. Yeah. Interesting. And it's it's the most pathetic, like, dick-sucking posting on dick the internet. Dick-sucking yeah. posting. Wow. Boom. Nancy Pelosi just endorsed VP Kamala Harris. And it's it's always like, who's with me? I'm supporting her. I'm supporting him. Who's with me? They're the biggest dick riders on earth. And he's got another friend. You should see this kid's face. He's the goofiest. Dick riders. I'm yeah. just like visualizing 
a lot going on right now. Yeah. Okay. Look at this. Look at this doofus's face. You know those. We've talked about this. Those um, uh, that guy that used to like yell at the camera in his truck years ago. I don't know what you're talking about. I think you said that before, and then I showed you a video, and then you're like, "Oh, I remember that." You just didn't know who he was, but like, look at him, a little fucking dweeb. He looks. Ex- he looks like he's twelve years old. Yeah. So I don't want to say he's, anything negative about a twelve year old. He's. <laughs> you can call kids ugly. No. Some people's kids are ugly. No, stop. Yeah, some people's no. kids are ugly. No. Yeah. No. Yep. All right. Anyways. There you go. He's bought hurt that somebody made a shirt making fun of him. <laughs> but there's another one. It's not just him. There's another doofus that does the same thing. Okay. They, like, he's paid by, like, three or four different, like, they've they found it from, like, FOIAs and tax filings and stuff like that. Like, you can't hide this stuff. So is this why people were speculating that that Hawk Tua girl was basically that but for like the other side but i thought that she said she isn't right right right. but in the beginning people were speculating that she was no that girl and like the one on the plane last summer who freaked out plane is and she's like now endorsed by somebody yeah so there's like always like a speculation in the beginning of all these people who go viral they're, they're like that only for the Republican Party. There's two kinds of people to go. So, so who is like that? The sissy guy or Sasan guy for the Republican Party? I want to know. Uh, probably. Hmm. I actually don't know because I haven't seen them if they exist. To be honest, I'm with sure you. they do, but that's I think why. But people like him there's would so be posting spectrum. about them like, oh, I don't like this person. And they what haven't. about who's that lady that you said is like the most hated woman in libs of TikTok? No, no, she's the most hated woman of the Republican Party and all of the parties in general. Laura, somebody. And you were like, do you know who this person is? And I was like, I've never heard of that name before. But you said she's the most hated person. I don't know off the top of my head. I don't I don't know. I don't know. Anyways. But like everybody that's making political jabs that I've seen mm-hmm. from the right and from the Libertarian Party are... Uh, like meme accounts. They're not even, like, there's no face to put with them. Okay. Like, mostly peaceful memes. Um, mostly peaceful making memes. Making fun of mostly peaceful protests. Okay. So they're mostly peaceful memes. Okay. Uh, Defiant Elves. Uh, what are the ones? Greg. Greg. Greg's, like, all over the oh place, Oh, my God. Though. He, oh, my God. Greg is just there for engagement. It doesn't matter who it is. I I think that's just my personal opinion. Uh, he keeps ratioing the president and vice president, like right. But I'm saying, if Trump was president currently, I feel like he'd be doing the same. Um, I think I think it's just engagement. It's not. Well, Trump doesn't post on Twitter, so anymore, right? He's banned from Twitter, or not no, anymore. He, no, he was reinstated. Like two years ago or so. Okay. It was right after. But now he has his own platform or something. I don't know. I'm yeah. trying to keep up with you. So there, there's an account okay. on Twitter okay. that reposts Trump's post from, from the Truth, other. Uh, yeah. Truth Social is what it's Truth called. Truth Social? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so there's literally an account dedicated to just reposting okay. it and bringing. And cool. maybe it's an account that he controls at this point, but. I'm sure he pays somebody to take care of that for him. I meant, I meant that. Him or his organizations, okay. his money controls, not necessarily okay. him with his phone. Right, 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 right. So. So, yeah. Speaking of Trump, we never even talked about his assassination attempt because that happened we did. last. Yeah, we did. I, I opened an episode last week with. Did we? Um, I took a shot and missed. And I was talking about missed recording. We talked. I gave my professional expert oh, opinion. Yeah. It's been a really long week. So that was like such a blip in okay. 
an inconsequential moment sure. in our lives. So he um So Biden they're, they're, is out of the race. They're trying Trump to, was they're trying to downplay to assassinate. Yeah, they're trying to downplay it already. They're like, oh, it's not bad. It's only an ear. Motherfucker. Yeah, it's only an ear, but he was shot. Right. It's only an ear because, you know, he moved his head <laughs> yeah. just in time. Obviously, without knowing it was just in time. Yeah. He got lucky. Yeah. Like, even if the dude had missed every round and didn't yeah. even glance right, the right. ear. He was it's still, still shot at. It's still a confirmed actual assassination right. attempt where people right. did die. Right. You saw the whole thing with the um, the firefighter. His uh, jacket, his fire jacket. Oh, yeah. And Trump kissing the helmet. That no, was I'm not, that's not the part that I'm talking about. So the fire department had always had his name misspelled on his jacket. Why? No, I didn't know that. I don't know if it was like a character limit like because it's like, you know, across the back. Okay. Um, I, I don't know. what I didn't look any further into it. But th- the picture that was posted at from the fire department before the Republican Party got their hands on it okay. was misspelled so it wasn't like they 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 got the actual one and that hairy sissy retard went and took a screenshot from trump couldn't even get it right yeah like that oh i'm just assuming that's what you were gonna say so people have been (laughs) dragging him because he he ended up deleting the tweet because Uh, that was the real jacket it wasn't like somebody had somebody sent it in to have it replicated gotcha. it was the real one gotcha and no yeah. the only thing i thought weird was like kissing the helmet that was like a little yeah there was a so the, uh, he he posted something he was like um i'm behind camilla or something like that and greg was like does her husband know <laughs> it was like he had like a hundred thousand likes to yeah. Hillary's like four thousand. That's actually really funny. Yeah. Does her husband? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know she was married, to be honest. I didn't either. <sighs> All I know he... is that she imprisoned a lot of people in California for weed. Which speaking of California. Yeah. Their new Do you think it's gonna be a mass exodus? No. Um I know people like Freedom Dave, I won't say his real last name, but Freedom Dave. Mm-hmm. He's um, in California, obviously. Yeah, he's yeah. a sheriff's deputy. Mm-hmm. And he is like adamant that like he just loves the weather, mm-hmm. loves the location. Right. And he likes, he's like a hiking outdoors kind of guy, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So like he's not going, there's a lot of people like that. Like mm-hmm. people that live in San Diego live in San Diego because there's nowhere else in the country that's like it. Where you can have like a year round 75, 75 degree yeah. weather. Yeah. And no humidity. Yeah. Speaking of, it was fucking humidity titties today when I took the kids to the it's aquarium. March to October here or April to October. Yeah. Here. Like yeah. breathing in that humidity is just, ah. So yeah, the, uh, the California law thing, if I can pull this up here, um, while I'm pulling it up, we can talk really quickly about the White House saying that they were against trans. Well, it was like day before it was, Fourth of it July. It was for or minors, for specifically for minors. Mm-hmm. Uh, Whereas just like what a month and a half ago they posted pro trans on uh, Trans Celebration Day, Trans Identity Day. Oh, this is. <laughs> I thought this was like a watchdog group or like a nonprofit organization because it's civil rights. Dot, mm-hmm. and that's all I saw first. Mm-hmm. What is it? It's California's government website. Oh. It's big bold letters. California law protects transgender and gender non-confirming people or non-conforming people from discrimination, harassment, or retaliation at work. Okay. Also, nobody. I don't know anybody that ever got fired for that. Just because you don't know but doesn't I'm, mean it hasn't happened. But I'm saying so like, you can't discredit that. But I'm saying that the majority of it, it's it's complete like victim manufacturing. They're oh, I know somebody else and I want to be protected too. And like it's people aren't going but then you have the other side of the coin where they want to force a business to do business with them against their will, like the bakery that didn't want to make the cake. Okay. So they literally want their cake and to eat it too. Okay. You like you can't you can't do that. You're just you're creating hostility around you. 
If a business doesn't want to do business with you, that is within their right. For whatever their reason is, you could just be a complete asshole and they don't want to do business with you. Yeah. That one's a tough one for me. No, because um, I slightly disagree with you. No, if if I don't want to do business with somebody, the 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 state cannot force me to do business with them. End of story. Period. No exception. If somebody walks into your physical brick and mortar business mm -hmm. and starts trading you like shit and you kick them out, they can't sue you for kicking them out. They will do that. Some right. people will. And that's not the issue. So if you somebody you are if equating you, if you don't want to bake a cake for somebody or build a gun for somebody, you are well within your right as a business owner not to. That's the it, the why doesn't matter. I don't want to do business with them, period. And if you're worried that you'll get in trouble for the why, don't give them a why. <laughs> I just don't want to do business with you. End of story. That's how you do it. So there's school districts, blah, 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 suing. I, I can't, it's not turning up uh, immediately. But essentially the synopsis is that if the state determines that you are harming your child by not giving them their gender affirming surgery. The state can take Step custody. In. No, take custody from you. And force you to pay for it. Yeah. And that was past when? Um this is showing September of last year. This is seven days ago. And that's why Elon is pulling his business yeah. out of California and moving yep. to Texas. Yeah. Because one, one he has like 25 reasons. children yeah. and he doesn't want them being raised in California. Well, yeah. And he also, he also doesn't want to put his employees right. under that. Like anybody that right. doesn't. Yeah. You're, unless you are literally physically and emotionally abusing your children, the government should not gets no fucking say. I, I do agree with you there. The government gets no seeing anything in my world. That's the way it should be. That's it is. As soon as you start giving them power, that's when they start doing dumb shit like this. So yeah, um, Elon moving. There we go. Uh, what exits of X and SpaceX mean for the Golden State? Elon Musk revived LA aerospace. Blah. blah. When did they have anything other than Vandenberg, which is uh, Air Force now, Space Force Station? I don't remember anything ever launching from there when we were kids. I don't either. But I would say most of his stuff is down in Texas anyway. So well, was it more so, of the business side of things that was still in California? So the, so the Starbase mm -hmm. is... And then there's also another place right up the road, and I can't think of the name of it, which is where they do the engine testing. Okay. It was primarily about finding a location that they could do all of this testing and destruction and everything, and it wouldn't impact like the environment. Right. You wouldn't have to go through all these different things. Right. Because so all the testing and stuff that they're doing in Texas is leading to them retrofitting and adapting the uh, spaceports in uh, Cape Canaveral at Kennedy. Okay. And they're they're trying to make sure that they do everything there because mm -hmm. they can't do the testing as frequently there. The people live closer right, right, to it. Right. They can't shut everything down all right. the time. So, and they can't do that in California for sure right. because it'll be a huge issue. Right. So it's kind of a mixture of a bunch of different things. Okay. But Where's Neuralink at? I don't know, probably in California still. But Right, so okay. The boring companies there. Or actually I think they're out of Vegas. That would make sense. Maybe. Who All knows? death and destruction happens in Vegas. Let's see here. Over new California law. Uh moves country. Concerning pro so that was a big thing too. Um like privacy protection and stuff like that. Like being able to snoop on your devices and things of your children and all the CSAM laws and stuff that we talked about previously and 
a, several episodes back. Like, sure, pedophiles should not run free and there should not be child pictures, videos. Correct. But they shouldn't be able to scan your photos or my photos just willy-nilly. Correct. That's what they want to do. Okay. And they want to do any device that you communicate with. Are you saying this is a California thing? Is that why you're tying this in? They, I'm trying to follow there, you. Originally, it was um, it was it was in the in Congress and the FTC or FCC, not FTC, and it got shot down for that very reason because they're like. And then I I told that story about that doctor right. or that that guy that father right. That Who was, was arrested sending pictures to, to the doctor. The doctor yeah. Right. The doctor's During like, COVID time, hey, so, can you send me a right. picture of the rash? He sends a picture right. of the rash and then he gets right. fucking arrested because right. the the uh, location that the doctor had him right. sent it to was in right. <laughs> cloud storage. Right. So, yeah. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Like, I, I can't read all this because it's entirely too... Actually, it's space.com article talking about... All right, California so back to law. Biden. Do you think that Kamala is going to be officially endorsed or do you think that they're going to try to endorse somebody else in the next week or two? People are predicting that she will um, basically step aside with Golden Parachute. Okay. Meaning, oh, I don't want this. But if they can't do anything better, then here she comes because she's still she still has everybody's endorsement. Okay. It's I don't know. It's a weird it, the the whole fucking situation is weird. The I love that the Democrats have been screaming, let's save the democracy for the democracy, dissent for the democracy. And then they literally don't get democracy. Having the richest people in the country just say, hey, Nona, you're going to run for president on our ticket. And none of your constituents got any say in that. That's not democracy. (sighs) That's not at all. Not, Not in any way, shape, or form. And apparently the best front runner for her running mate um, they're trying to drag through the mud now because he's Jewish and they're like, oh, it'll hurt the ticket because he's Jewish because of the whole Israel thing. And, uh, right, yeah, but... Cal- yeah. Okay. Palestine. Okay. Yeah. The, the whole, the whole thing is dumb. Anyways. They're talking about Hillary running. Again, <laughs> that woman is ready to want run at the drop of a hat. There's, so I am not shocked at all by that. There's there's nothing. How many times has she run? I feel like it's a lot. She definitely ran in twelve and sixteen. I think maybe she. It's going to be Kamala, Elizabeth. Warren and um, Hillary all on the ticket fighting for it. No, I saw the I saw the women list. versus women so versus there, women. There's a there's betting odds for like the presidential race, which is what? Kind of, yeah, there there have been for a long oh time. Oh my but, god! Which is funny because say you're the front runner. Okay. You can bet against yourself, and no matter what, you win. Mm-hmm. You can either win the presidency or you win money. <laughs> okay. But Trump is the front runner by like a lot right now. Is that how you paid off all his debt <laughs> on the last race? I don't know. All right. So you wanted to talk about the Microsoft outage? Uh yes and no. Take it away, Andrew. Well, the everybody's trying to say that it was a a political thing, right? And actually I saved a pretty funny meme about it. Okay. And it was a, it was a guy, he was like posting, it was like his LinkedIn account or something like that. And he was like taking a selfie of him walking into uh CrowdStrike's office for like day one of work. Okay. <laughs> it's like, 
that a smoke detector? It sounded like it. That was weird. Um, so he walked into crowd or standing, taking a selfie outside of CrowdStrike. Mm-hmm. It's like first day of work. And he's like, I have all these aspirations and stuff like that. And then the next picture was like him leaving. And he was like, I got fired. Yeah. <laughs> I pushed, I pushed one update and got fired. <laughs> Is this real or oh, okay? No, no, no. Okay. No. That would be hilarious if it was yeah. real though. And the other memes that came out from it were uh people saying uh these security companies can't even get it right. They knock out all these things that nobody cares about, but they can't even take down teams. <laughs> no, they couldn't even fucking take down Outlook. Yeah. Like if I can't actually work, please don't be able to send me emails too. All my carriers were down. That's funny. Yeah, I couldn't do anything, like, all day. I could respond to emails, though. So in CrowdStrike... Okay, I got to pause this real quick, figure out what that is. All right, we're back. If you heard the beeping, it got worse. The The whole house system went off shortly after I stood up, and I chased it down, figuring it out. But anyways... I don't even remember what we were talking about now. I know we were talking about Elon and SpaceX and stuff. Biden's president. endorsement. Yeah. So. But then we moved on to Microsoft. Ah. Uh, that's where we were at. Yeah, people. So that's what people, one of the things that they were thinking was that it was. Political. Yeah. But of course, they're coming out and saying, no, no, no. It was, it was not a cyber attack. It was an accident. It was an accident? Yeah. 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 What was the accident? It was Somebody just... they spilled their coffee on I, a server? I don't I, get it. I, like, saw, do you... I saw two different stories. One of them was that it was an untested, untested patch. Here it comes again, maybe. I'm going to try and talk. So, um, one of them was that. But that... Okay, so... In that industry, once something gets reported on like that, that is the first thing that they jump to. In in all of IT, you know, internet service is it, providers. It was intentional. No, 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 accident? that it was an accident. Oh, yeah. Okay. Even if it was mm-hmm. malicious, they're not going to admit immediately, unless it's first of all confirmable. Mm-hmm. They're not going to go and blame China or Russia or whatever until they okay. have real evidence. Okay. But. Like the AT and T thing that just happened recently, right. or years ago, that they just finally came out and yeah. said, "Yeah, they have all of your information." Yeah, so there's a good chance that it, it was an attack. Yeah, they're just not admitting it yet. Yeah. So that makes sense. The U.S. government, or at least DoD computers, I don't know about all offices. I'm sure in, at the federal level they probably all are. Um, all USB ports on PCs and stuff are either literally glued or are software locked so that you, all right, there it is again. I got to go. Be right back. To the pause. No. All right. Back again. Hopefully for the third time's the charm. Last first time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, talking about software updates. CrowdStrike, Microsoft, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. The reason a lot of companies had switched to CrowdStrike was because a similar thing had happened just a couple of years ago. Ah. So. Lesson learned. And now. Nobody's safe. One of one of the biggest um, software security companies that I've, I've never liked, um, Kaspersky, they're a Russian company. Um, they just finally pulled out of the U.S. like right around the same time. <laughs> so, they were they were added to like the U.S. government's list of do not use, gotcha. banned. Um, if that starts, oh my God, it's beeping again. Be right back, maybe. And we're back again. Don't jinx it. <laughs> So it's a it's a whole home wired plus battery. So one goes off, it sets off all of them throughout the entire house. 
So I just went and disconnected it for now. <laughs> what else am I going to do? I, there was no battery in it. It was wired. So either the detector is going bad fully. Because that's not what it does when there's uh, when it's carbon monoxide. It just chirps at you. And when it's dying, typically it just chirps at you. That was full-blown alarm going off. No, that that's ex- and I tried to explain that to you. It's exactly what happened in my old house, which was also wired completely. And every time it needed replacement, it would set off everything in the entire house to the point where it would be That's a, a woman coming over the speaker saying, exit immediately, oh. get out, get out. Well, that's not what they're supposed to do. Well, I'm just letting you know from personal experience. But that's still not what they're supposed to do. So, How did it, Not my laptop, lost internet, so I can't tell and I can't stop anything. Good job. What in the hell is going on here right now? Um, talking about software security stuff. I mean, the the biggest problem with software companies as they exist today, well, I guess two biggest problems. Okay. Number one is nothing is ever complete. Ever. So you're going to say nothing is ever safe. No. So if you... Back in the day when we were kids, if you wanted to go, back to, in the day. if you wanted to go and buy Windows, okay, you were buying pre-internet days, like pre, like right. internet as we know it days. Right. You were buying Windows as the developers determined it was complete and fully functional. Okay, you weren't gonna get updates. You weren't gonna get anything. Right. You were just you had Windows, and that's it. Mm-hmm. Right mm-hmm. now, everything is released completely incomplete, not even feature. I mean, cars literally, people are buying cars and buying phones and buying devices on the promise of a future update. Full self driving with Tesla cars, features on your iPhone and on my Pixel. We're like, oh, here's this, and like in three months, we might give you this feature. Because they know that people are going to buy based on the promise of what's in the future. Maybe some people, but not everybody. No, it hap- it overwhelmingly. I said maybe some people, not everybody, because I have never bought on the, that promise. It, the majority of people, or the majority of sales, not the majority of people, the majority of sales happen based on the promise of what's to come, not what currently exists. Okay, so you're saying I'm an outlier? Like I've yes. literally have yeah. never. Yeah, you are the exception. I. Yep. Mm. That's why Kickstarter and places like that exist because people will do it. Yeah, some people, but not the vast majority of people. That's how. I disagree. That's how they. Yeah, they crowdfund based on the promise. There were those those two stupid little AI self-contained boxes that came out recently, the rabbit R1 and the, I can't remember what the other one is. And like, that's, that's the premise. Like they were sold as Kickstarter devices essentially. And that is what it boiled down to. Okay. Like, do you boiling the rabbit? Sure. No, it was, Oh, we made this device, but the only way that we can make it better is if you pre-order it and get it now and it's feature incomplete. So everything that ships software-wise these days Mm -hmm. is always a work in progress. progress. And even if it was feature complete, Mm -hmm. because of the rapid like penetration testing and bug bounties and stuff like that, there's always something found and identified that is a vulnerability of your existing, what you thought was impenetrable. Now somebody just found 20 new bugs that need to be patched. They patch those 20 bugs and that breaks five other features. And now you actually start losing features. So it's this continuous back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's the entire reason that the industry that I'm in continues to grow. Okay. Because people are like, oh, I don't want to pay you. I'm going to go to this thing and then that thing gets breached or they do it themselves. And then they're they're 
all of their client information, customer information, everything is stolen and there's nothing they can do about it. And then they have to reach out to somebody like me anyways. Right. Yeah. Should have just paid somebody to begin with and yep. make it right to begin with. Yep. All right. The other thing you wanted to talk about was Jake Paul. It's kind of weird to throw that into this episode. It's what you wanted to talk about. So I'm just, keep, I'm just keeping us on track. I didn't say in this episode. I was putting out all the topic ideas, not mm-hmm. that that was going to be in this episode. It doesn't belong in this episode. All right. Can I actually connect now? Let's see. I just had to do all kinds of stuff. Tapping on the keypad. There we go. All right. What are we at? We are at 35 minutes. So who do you think, if they if they replace Kamala, who they who they replace her with? A lot of people think Gavin Newsom from California. Mm-hmm. Needs to be somebody with some popularity, name recognition, because they don't have time to campaign. I mean, they do, but they don't as if they were running a real campaign from the start. Okay. So who do you think? Do you think they keep Kamala? Do you think they replace her? I think so, but I think they're going to work hard to find a VP they approve of. People are speculating Buttigieg. I was waiting for you to drop that because you love him so much. He was brought up in a movie or show that we just watched recently as the VP. Maybe I wa- Man, where was it? I can't think of it. I don't know what it was off the top of my head now. I thought it was like, he, he's terrible. I know. You hate him with all of your heart. All of South Bend does. So I was waiting for you to drop his name and how much you hate him. But he's, so I saw a short list and I only, I didn't recognize the majority of the people on the list. I think, or maybe I recognized one other one. Okay. There was the the guy that they were talking about out of um, Pennsylvania, then Judge, mm-hmm. and then um, oh my gosh, I can't think of her name. Anyways, doesn't matter. So yeah, I that'd be a hard sell of a ticket. I don't think there. I don't think she wins at all as the presidential nominee. She could be somebody else's running mate and maybe stand a chance, but there's not a chance in hell. I think her ego is too big for that. Have you I don't s- think she would be VP again have by you, choice. Have you seen any of the, the videos? Mm-mm. What videos? Of just her talking. This, we live in a country that has states, and those states should be united, and I think that's special. Like Sounds like a Miss Universe. What? Yeah, and what I just said was actually better than how she said it. I want world peace, and I love you guys so much. So one of the accounts that I like on Twitter, um, Swanky Wolverine, Michigan people, um, they they took the Biden speech mm-hmm. and they rewrote it as if it was Ryan Day leaving Ohio State. And it's fucking hilarious. But that's not what I wanted to bring up here just now. Sure. I mean, just wanted to throw that out yeah, there, yeah, yeah. I'm sure. No, no. So, but uh, what I want to show you and what I want to play is the video that somebody di- uh, dubbed over with AI of of uh, Biden. Hold on. Let me, I'm going to turn this up so you guys can hear it. Americans, I want to take a moment to address some of the hateful shit you've been talking about me. Many of you have said I am suffering from brain worms <laughs> or that I have applesauce for brains. <laughs> I won't miss words, so here it is. Fuck you. No, I don't you faggots. End of quote. <laughs> So enjoy President Cackles or President Booty Juice. I don't give two fucks anymore. Oh my, god. my fellow Americans. <laughs> oh my god. That's priceless. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Booty juice. <laughs> Booty juice. Yeah. As soon as I saw that, I so uh, on Twitter, 
um, there's a feature that you can turn on so you don't have to go to like a website or an app or whatever to mm -hmm. rip somebody's video down. Where if you want to allow people to download your videos, you can turn it on during the upload process. Okay. Or you can set it as default. I was really, really, really hoping that this was going to be a downloadable video because I wanted to post it everywhere else. But, but it wasn't. No. Wow. So, so sad. It is sad. Because the video is hilarious. <laughs> I don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> and that's, <sighs> that, is, um, that is our future. For not just presidents, but for everything. AI is... Taking over. Yep. I'm well, not even taking over. It's just... <laughs> it's it's so easy and accessible. Like, I could go create a video just like that in a matter of minutes. <sighs> yeah. I could create a video of you no. telling people Stop. How, no. how great and no. wonderful. No. And Stop. Stop. No. How amazing. Stop. <laughs> no. Stop. No. Stop. You're not saying don't. You're supposed to say no, stop, don't, or don't, no, stop. I do <laughs> not authorize you to turn my voice into an AI anything. Okay. Is this freezing up again? Come on. So, is there anything else you want to add? We're jinxed today, apparently. No. Anything else you want to add? This is Monday the 13th, apparently. Mm-hmm. Anything else? No, you were in charge today. All right. Well, I think that's good logical conclusion. Was I need I'm gonna put that at the beginning of the video. <laughs> Open up the video with, with the Biden fake speech. Okay. And Do then it. and then get in trouble right away from YouTube. And then everybody make sure to like and subscribe. Yep. Do all those things. Do all those things. Oh, there we go. Lost connection. Well, I was about to say goodbye, everybody, but apparently I can't say goodbye because you can't even turn us off. Well, you can. It's just I'll have to go back and edit it. Connecting. What are we? Here we go. I don't know. What it's not are very we? good, but all right. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye.